Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Two press conferences back to back to discuss the Auditor General's performance audit reports on governance. The first meeting with the press here at the CIG TV studios allowed Auditor General Alastair Swarbrick and Mr. Martin Rubin to discuss the report at length and take questions from the media. I think there has to be clarity about the roles and responsibilities of the between government, core government, and the statutory authorities and and uh, statutory authorities and government companies. How does that relationship actually work in practice? Who are they accountable to? How do you set out the results, expectations for those entities? At present, um, the, the strategic policy statement sets out the broad outcomes. And you could fit in the ownership agreements from the SAGCs to those sort of outcomes and the specific outcomes that the government are looking for. But the linkages aren't very clear about between what government's trying to achieve and what the statutory authorities and government companies are trying to do. Premier the Honorable Alda McLaughlin and Deputy Governor Mr. Franz Manderson then met the press for a more informal discussion on the topic of audits. We felt it important to send a very clear message that we take what the Auditor General says in his reports very seriously and that the recommendations which he makes will be considered very carefully by the government. In fact, in the time that it has taken him to produce the reports, a significant number of the issues which have been raised have already been addressed or are in the process of being addressed. And tonight, only here on CID TV, watch both press conferences beginning at 8 o'clock. With Heroes Day celebrations just days away, the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority would like to remind the public that a limited number of the commemorative 10th anniversary Heroes Day coins are still available for purchase. Released by the authority back in January of 2013, the coin commemorates the 10th anniversary of the National Heritage and Cultural Celebration in the Cayman Islands. Culturally inspired and designed by Caymanian graphic designer Kara Coe of Government Information Services, the silver coin features celebrated Heroes Day themes including sailors representing youth, culture and sports, a woman representing gender equality, cat boats representing the three islands and the man of war bird. The commemorative coins are available here at the Government Administration Building at SEMA's Currency Division. Well after more than 42 years uh, of service as a community public health nurse, Alice Jane Ebanks is hanging up her stethoscope. One of the longest serving Cayman Islands hospital employees will not be spending her upcoming free time resting though. First on her to-do list after her 24th of January retirement is to travel to South Africa, Brazil, Peru and the Galapagos Islands. Dr. Kiran Kumar, medical officer of health, speaks of his appreciation for her 27 years of excellent service as immunization program manager in the Cayman Islands. While there have been challenges at times, he says our immunization program was recognized in the region, receiving awards from Pan American Health Organization under her leadership. Now, a special gathering is planned for Nurse Alice Jane's service to the hospital for later this month. And of course, if you remember, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Also, don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show that's daily from 1215 with the host, Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. For now, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for watching your CIG TV news update and bye-bye. Until next time.